Maths is not. Hello, friends. There is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels. I am here for the same. Today, in this video, I am going to solve chapter compound interest of class 8, exercise 10.3. So, if you guys want to see the solution of our earlier chapters of class 8 maths book, you can go by the playlist. The chapters which I have solved are the chapters for which you can see the solution in playlist names are rational numbers, exponents, square and square roots, cube and cube roots, playing with numbers, algebraic expressions, factorization of algebraic expressions, percentage and its applications, linear equations, compound interest, direct and inverse variation, quadrilateral, surface area and volume and probability. And... Uh, if you guys want to see the solution of class 7 maths book of same publication house, um, you can go by the playlist. The chapters which I have, I have solved are integers, fractions, rational numbers, decimals, linear equations, triangle and its properties, and lines and angles. So you can go by the playlist go by the playlist you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available so let's not to waste further time check it out how to solve excess 10.3 question number five so here question number five says Melon deposited rupees 64,000 in a saving scheme which fetches him interest at the rate of 7.5% compounded annually. After how many years will this sum amount to rupees 79,507? So, we will start this. We will start with the question. The question is that Melon deposited 64,000 in a saving scheme which fetches him Seven and a half rate of interest milega, which would be compounded annually. Annually compounded vajayaga. Kitna years ke baad ye jo sum hai, 64,000 hai, wo 79,507 banega. So given kya hai, hum, hum, amount given hai 79,507, principal given hai 64,000, and rate of interest per annum given hai seven and a half percent per annum. Per annum. So what we have to find out, we have to find out the time. So इससे स्टार्ट करेंगे लेट द रिक्वायर्ड टाइम बी एन इयर्स क्लियर है अब प्रिंसिपल जो जो हमें गिवन है वो हम लिख लेते हैं सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड है रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट क्या है सेवन एंड हाफ परसेंट पर एनम तो ये क्या बन जाएगा सेवन एंड हाफ परसेंट पर पर एनम फिफ्टीन बाय टू परसेंट पर एनम एंड अमाउंट जो है वो हमें कितना गिवन है रुपीस सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवेन क्लियर है अब नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू पुट द फॉर्मूला सो फॉर्मूला हमें पता है फॉर्मूला क्या है Amount is equal to principal within bracket 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power N. N kya hota hai? Time hota hai. So, amount ki jaga rupees 79,507. Principal 64,000. One rate of interest. Hame kya? 15 by 2 हो गया into 100 raised to the power n 
in our next step. 79,507, 64,000, this is what we cancel. 1 plus 3 by 5, 40. Rest to the power n. Next step. Here, we have to calculation karte hue, be careful. Because यहाँ पर calculation की mistakes accepted नहीं है बहुत ज़्यादा blunder हो जाते हैं so ये sixty four thousand हम LHS में ले गए जो division में आ जाएगा यहाँ पर हम क्या कर लेंगे यहाँ पर हम LCM ले लेंगे forty forty plus three और एक बात और यहाँ पर LCM खासकर compound interest में LCM लेना उन्हें cancel करना ये बहुत अच्छे से और बहुत careful होके करना पड़ता है in our next step, so 79,507 upon 64,000 equal to 40 plus 3 by 40 raised to the power n. In our next step, seventy-nine thousand five hundred seven upon 64,000 equal to 40 plus 3 क्या बन जाएगा 43 by 40 raised to the power n we know 43 का cube is 79507 and 64,000 is a cube of 40 so 43 का cube is 79,507 and 64,000 का cube 40 का क्यूब 64,000 ये हमने चेंज कर लिया और यहाँ पर 43 by 40 raised to the power n अब we know that हमने एक्सपोनेंट में पढ़ा है since powers are same अगर power same होंगी basis Since bases are same, not powers, a slight mistake. Since bases are same, bases same hai yaha par. Since bases are same, powers will also be same. Powers will also be be same so 43 by 40 equal raised to the power 3 and 43 by 40 raised to the power n so we can conclude that n equal to 3 years so we will write therefore required time be 3 years I hope the whole question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting it in the comment box. And the compound interest is an interesting chapter and it is useful in practical life also. But the thing is we have to be careful about the calculations and how to do the calculations. So come to the question number six. So question number six says, So question number six says what at what rate percent per annum of compound interest will 2000 amount to rupees 2508.80 in two years. 2000 rupees two years may kiss rate of interest per 2508.80 rupees turn out. So again I am saying be careful about the calculations. We will start with let the required
रेट बी आर परसेंट पर एन ओके अमाउंट इज गिवन एज रुपीज टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एट पॉइंट एट जीरो प्रिंसिपल इज गिवन एज रुपीज टू थाउजेंड एंड टाइम इज गिवन एज टू इयर्स सो वी विल राइट अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल वन प्लस आर बाय हंड्रेड रेस्ट टू दावर एंड so we will write rupees 2508.80 equal to 2000 1 r by 100 raised to the power 2 so we would write 525080 यहाँ हम डिवीजन में ले आए डेसिमल रिमूव किया हंड्रेड आ गया यहाँ बचेगा वन प्लस आर बाय हंड्रेड रेस्ट टू दावर टू नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू कैंसल इट सो वी विल राइट अगेन टू मेक इट क्लियर Zero zero cancel, and it will go by two only. Two ones are two twos are four. Two fives are ten. Two fours are two fours are two twos are four. Zero 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 zero. Again, two six are twelve. Two twos are four. Two sevens are forty. Two twos are four. Here it would become ten thousand. Again. टू से कैंसिल करेंगे थ्री वन थ्री सिक्स टू फाइव जो टेन जीरो 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 अगेन टू से कैंसिल करेंगे टू वन जो टू फाइव जो टू सिक्स जो ट्वेल्व टू एट जो सिक्सटीन टू टू जो फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड वन फाइव सिक्स अगेन सेवन एट फोर टू से कैंसिल करेंगे एंड it would be coming out to be as 1250 and it would be 625 clear so we will be remain with what we will be remain with 784 by 625 equal to 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power 2 we know that 784 is a square of 28 and 25 6 ka square 625 So one plus r by hundred raised to the power two. In our next step, we will write since powers are same. हमें यहाँ powers same दिख रही हैं. basis will also be same basis bhi same ho jayenge so we would write 28 by 25 equal to 1 plus r by 100 ye hata dete hain uske equal ho jayega in our next step we would shift 1 Here and it would become one plus r by hundred.
So here we will take the LCM 25, 28 minus 25 equal to R by 100. So it would become 3 by 25 equal to R by 100. And it would become 3 by 25 into 100 equal to R. Four. So 12 is equal to rate again. So rate of interest be 12%. So we will write, therefore, required rate of interest is 12% per annum. So it was all about question number 5 and 6 of exercise 10.3 compound interest. Chapter 10 of class 10. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe kijiye because I think subscribe, like, share karne mein ek second mein nahi lagta hai. But ye motivate karta hai aur zyada solution videos banane ke liye. Uh, in my upcoming videos, I'll be solving more of the question of compound interest. And do comment how you like the solution of the videos. Thank you so much.